And when people think of mewing, they think of pressing the tongue up onto the roof of the mouth. I did a video, uh, how to mew, where I just instructed people to suction, uh, to swallow their spit until they create a suction on the roof of their mouth. And it got millions of views. And everyone said, wow, finally, someone taught me like how to mew passively and in a way that I don't have to force it. Why do you think or do you think that this is a big shortcoming of the mewing community that there's not as much of an emphasis on the suctioning of the tongue pressed on the roof of the mouth as opposed to uh, forcefully like uh, uh, ramming the tongue onto the roof of the mouth? Right. This should be a subconscious, unconscious um, rest posture based on correct muscle tone. If you're pressing, you're not using the muscles correctly. So we need to strengthen the muscles first. And we do like a sort of sequential program to strengthen the muscles to allow the elevator muscles to pull the tongue upwards in a subconscious way. So we do exercises to get, that's what myofunctional therapy is. It's kind of like physical therapy of the mouth. So we do exercises in a progressive way to strengthen the muscles of the tongue. So it will gently suction to the roof of the mouth versus just pressing up. I almost think pressing up, you've skipped all the basic foundational steps of getting the muscles toned correctly, and you just know where the tongue goes, you're just going to press it up there. So mm -hmm. there's uh, different muscles that need to be worked correctly to get that suction. When you're suctioning, um, should the, the teeth be gently touching? Or so like, for example, when I'm suctioning my lower jaw, my teeth are not touching and my lower jaw is sliding forward a bit as if to try to open up my airway. Because if I bite, if I, if I bring my teeth together when I'm suctioning at rest, I feel like my lower jaw is back and my airway is a little bit constricted. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Your jaw might come forward slightly so that suction will allow the lower jaw to relax so the teeth separate. You want your teeth slightly apart at rest, not touching. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cool. that's light dental freeway split space. So I say lips closed in this order, lips closed, tongue sucked up, teeth slightly apart. Mm -hmm. I actually have that printed out and I make, well, I don't know if anybody listens to me, but I make my patients cut it out in strips of paper and tape it all over their house, their car, everywhere. Because part of this training, it's neuromuscular reeducation, but it's also conscious awareness. You have to not only train the muscles, but you have to be conscious all throughout the day until it becomes a new pattern. You have to check yourself. Are your lips closed? Tongue sucked up, teeth apart. All throughout the day, we put reminders all over the place for the patient. So it's not just exercises, but it's also conscious awareness. Our normal rest posture is the entire tongue sucked up, not just front. Some people think their tongue's up and it's just the tip of the tongue. I always question when I ask my patients at the evaluation, where does your tongue rest? If they say up, I then back up and I say, okay, the tip of your tongue. Now the middle, now the back. Almost every case, tip is up, middle, and back are down or floating in the middle. Mm -hmm. So you always want to question. Is that because they're is that because they're pressing and they're not suctioning? Could be. Is it possible to suction only the front of the tongue onto the roof of the mouth? For, no, probably not. You're probably not just really right. The tip up or holding the tip up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's like it's like the analogy you use. It's like the thing in the in the shower that holds up your loofah, the suction cup, mm -hmm. where if if the back half of that thing is peeled off, it's not going to stick at all. It's either all stuck on there or none of it's stuck yeah, on there, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. Do this, exactly. Do this fun thing right now. Suck your tongue up like, like you're going to do a click, but hold that, okay? Hold that suction and try to breathe through your mouth. Do, open your mouth mm -hmm, and try to breathe through your mouth. Impossible. Yeah. Right. If now, I have lingual, I have lingual braces on, by the way, so it's hard for me to ooh, suction. Okay. <laughs> You're like ripping yeah. your tongue up. Now, <laughs> rip your tongue up and open your mouth and try to breathe through your mouth, just with the tip of your tongue. You just the tip. It. Yeah, yeah. It's a easy test. Your tongue is like a respiratory muscle, a breathing muscle. It's an organ that can seal off the airflow between the nasal and the oral cavities. Your mm. tongue suction, front, middle, and back can stop the air from going through your mouth, which is really important when we think about airway collapsibility during sleep, body posture, breathing throughout the day and at night. Um, wow. So that, what you just taught us actually is incredibly, incredibly profound if, if you think about it. If you're doing correct tongue posture, it's impossible to breathe from your mouth. Exactly.